everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a Disney date night at home where I'm gonna be decorating, we're gonna be making Disney inspired food and we're gonna be watching a Disney film. Got this idea from a TikTok I saw where they had some cards with different movies and then different menus inspired by uh, countries or themes of the different films and I thought this was such a good idea. Benji and I actually did a Disney day at home last year and lots of you loved it. We really enjoyed just having a themed focus on the day and so we thought we'd recreate that but with a slight twist. So we're doing a date night. Benji's gone to work today so he's at work until this afternoon. It's actually a Sunday. It's currently half past 11 and I'm gonna head out and pop to Primark, Home Bargains, maybe like TK Maxx and Tesco as well to get food but we're just gonna do sort of a big loop around, see if we can find some things to make the house and evening feel more Disney inspired. But specifically, we've chosen Beauty and the Beast as our movie for tonight. Haven't decided on the animation or the live action. I think the live action, because I really love the live action. And then we're gonna be making French and Beauty and the Beast inspired foods. So when we were first planning this idea, we were thinking beef ragu, cheese souffle, but we actually ended up deciding on French onion soup as our dinner. We haven't made it before together and Benji loves it. So we're doing that. We're gonna get like a French baguette and then French inspired desserts. I mean, we could go on and on with ideas like creme brulee or we could do like macarons, or I could make the grey stuff cupcakes. <laughs> I really haven't quite decided. I think I'm just gonna wing it. And then we're gonna be decorating the lounge to be half Disney, half like Beauty and the Beast inspired. So yeah, I'm excited. I love Disney so much. We have lots of Disney vlogs and uh, Disney inspired videos on this channel. So if you wanna check those out, please do and subscribe if you're not already. And let's go and do a Disney day with me. Let's go find Beauty and the Beast inspired things. So my friend Shannon made quite a good point that Primark used to always have Beauty and the Beast stuff and they don't seem to have as much anymore but I've got an idea and I want to roll with it so let's go and have a look, see what they've got. Also I'm wearing my Disneyland Paris, France, <laughs> spirit jersey today in the spirit of Beauty and the Beast <laughs> and French themed things. Oh, I'm so excited for this day. Let's hope we find what I need in Primark. Let's have a look inside. Oh, that's nice. It says Walt Disney on it. And that one says Walt Disney on it too. Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? So many cute Disney things. If they had this Mickey Mouse outfit in Bonnie size, I would have got it, but they don't. But just imagine, that could have been cute. Obviously they always have Disney pyjamas, but I bet you money I can't find any Beauty and the Beast ones now. So they've got loads of Disney baking bits, and like Disney decor stuff. I already own quite a few of these things. Found some fake red roses, which is pretty perfect. I was gonna get real ones, but these actually probably are better. Okay, they have so many different films, like Lilo and Stitch, 21 Dimensions, but I have a feeling that Belle and Beauty and the Beast is just out of Primark right now, <laughs> which is okay, it's okay, but it was worth a look. Right, I've just stopped at Costa to get myself a mint Frostino with coffee. Absolutely delicious, can't lie. And, do you know what's great? I found a gift card in my purse for my birthday from Benji's grandparents that I hadn't used, so it's free. <laughs> well, you know, gift from them, so thank you. I'm now at B&M. I'm gonna have a little look in there, see what we can find for our Disney date night. There wasn't an awful lot in B&M. I did get a couple of like party bits. Not that we're having a party, but you know what I mean. I'll show you when I get home. Now I'm at Tesco and I'm gonna do our food shop and I need to bring up the recipe for French onion soup. Right, back home and they sold the most amazing Disney bags in Primark. First up, I was gonna buy real roses but I saw these really bright red fake ones and I thought we could use them to decorate. This is not for, uh, for today but I picked up these scrunchies and this little makeup bag just for a future Disney trip because I loved it so much. I saw this and I hadn't thought about doing my hair like Belle inspired, but I think I could, although my hair's naturally curly today. She wears a blue ribbon in her hair and I saw this like silky scarf with a B for Brogan, B for Belle. And um, I thought we could maybe put my hair into a low pony and maybe use this and do my hair Belle inspired. It was £2.50. And then I got these very cute grey pyjamas. They did not have Belle or Beauty and the Beast ones, but 
Got these for £10. I got these uh, Mickey Mouse cookie cutter shapes. Again, I'm not necessarily baking cookies or doing anything that would require um, cutters, but I just thought they'd be good for a future Disney day at home. I got some indoor 50 LED lights for £2. I'm going to decorate the lounge with those. I collect Disney pens, so I saw they had a couple of new ones in. And I love these, so they were £1.50 each. I went to b and M. I didn't get a lot in there. I just got a heart-shaped bamboo board that I thought was very sweet, £3. And I picked up this platter. You know when you see things like this for a future sort of gathering when our garden's done, maybe we can have some friends over. And I thought these would be handy. They're reusable um, plastic party platters. And then I also got this, which is a hurricane candle holder. I did want a dome-shaped... <laughs> Thing. I'm sure I saw one in Primark, but they didn't have it. So this was the next best thing. And I was thinking we could try and use this to recreate a centerpiece for the lounge with a fake rose in it. Also went to Tesco to get the food and I found the cutest Funko Pot for £10 in Tesco. Look how nice that is. That Mickey special edition one with him holding a little Mickey shaped ice cream bar. I panic bought stuff for our grey stuff cupcakes. So I just got a cupcake kit because I thought it'd be easier for me today instead of weighing out all the ingredients. So don't judge me, I'm using a kit. But I also got these because I thought they'd be quite cute on top. And then I couldn't decide between this cupcake icing that you basically can spray on, but then I realized it wouldn't be grey. So then I also got just some buttercream icing that I thought we could try and make grey using a bit of black. I've got the bow in my hair. This is not how I'm planning on doing it, but it's in my hair. Also, I picked up these French uh, sponge cakes. Madeleine, 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 Ma whatever. I love them, so I'm gonna have them with a cup of tea. or have one with a cup of tea in a minute. And then the rest is just onion and beef stock and the cheese. Literally, that is what the French onion soup is. This Gruet cheese, which took me ages to find. But we found it, so I'm gonna pop these bits away. And then I'll probably change my outfit again. And oh, I wanna find some mini ears too, actually. This is our lounge. This is what I'm working with. And this is the collection of Disney things that I have dug out. So this is what we're working with. Bonjour. Bonjour. I've got my, um, my, scarf in my hair now um, and I've changed my spirit jersey because I got too hot but um we are gonna make French onion soup I'm so excited look at his face and it's the most monotonous bit first chop a kilogram of onions it sounds, it sounds like a lot doesn't it but they they do shrivel up a bit are your eyes gonna be all watery yeah, sort of swimming goggles or something. where are your work goggles I'll be fine. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm not that em emotionally invested in onions anymore. I've, I've fought my demons. <laughs> you okay? One kilo of chopped onions. <laughs> I thought you didn't need goggles. No. <sighs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm so, so happy that I finished. <laughs> I like that you've used my Mickey Primark bowl. bowl. I haven't used it yet. Well, it's now anything you put in it now is going to taste of onions. So oh, great. Thanks for that. Oh, I feel yeah. like date night we should be cooking together, but I am just cracking on in I'm there and you're quite... Just leave me alone. I've got manifest on my iPad. I don't want to make cupcakes, but I do want grey stuff. It's delicious. If you don't believe me, ask the dishes. Ask the dishes. Um, I also bought black icing. I thought we could do like a little bit of it and try and get it grey. Just a little bit. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so it's meant to j oh. <laughs> Why is it doing that? You saw it, didn't you? Looking cute. Whatever. Look how perfect these are. I got them from Primark forever ago, and I'm so glad I did. They've been on a shelf just as decoration, but today they're coming out. I also have variations of chip mugs and I have this bell mug. Again, that's normally decoration. I don't use it because I love it so much. These are the cute fairy lights I bought today from Primark. I love a fairy light. Yeah, that's cute, When the lights are off, it'll be really yeah. romantic and nice. 
Na, 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 na. You're gonna do your board? I'm gonna do the board and I have heart shaped balloons because balloons because it's it's love, isn't it? It's love themed, it's, love, isn't it? it's date night. Ah Cheers. Got red wine. Cheers. making good progress in here it's looking really cute it looks like valentine's day in here with all the red hearts but oh well other things that i have located are this primark mickey love sign i've also found a puzzle we haven't done yet i really highly doubt we're doing a puzzle today but i just thought it could be quite cute it's a um, beauty and the beast one obviously so got that i also found this <laughs> I'm going to put some water in it and have that as my, you know, sippy cup. It says, beauty is found within. I'm pretty sure I got this in Primark forever ago. I've lost the straw, but that's fine. We have spares. And then I also dug out my cup from Walt Disney World. This was when I got Le Fou's brew at Gaston's Tavern. And it's just quite cute, isn't it, and fitting. I could have made Le Fou's brew, um, but it required toasted marshmallow syrup and i didn't get my hands on any of that today sometimes you can find that kind of thing in tk maxx but i couldn't see any today so um yeah that would be what i'd do next time i also have obviously loads of real candles that are light but i do have loads of these spare little um fake ones that also look really cute when you put them around the room and then i also last but not least have one of these letter boards that was from primark as well a long time ago Last time I used it was Benji's birthday, as you can see. We're going to change this out. And I think I'm going to write Disney Date Night Be Our Guest. That's cute, right? You've got enough onions there. Oh my God, there's so many. I, I don't know. I might, I might be wrong here. I think it is quite a key ingredient in... In French onion soup. Yeah. It looks good. Are you enjoying this? Honestly, I've made, I've made this a few times. I've never made it with you, but it was like the first like really hard thing that I made. This was like the first thing that I just spent like half a day just like getting all the ingredients in and have much money. And so it was like, a, it was make or break. <laughs> like it, it was, was good. amazing or I just wasted loads of money. But then I had it for dinner like all week. It was amazing. I, we haven't had it together. Well, we've had it on holiday in France, haven't we? Yeah, but I haven't made it. No. I've just found the straw that went in the cup. How cute is this? This is the red wine we're having. Um, it's not a specific French wine at all. It's uh, Australian actually. Um, so we probably could have made a better choice, but it's the one we had in the cupboard, so. Ta-da! That's really good. Isn't it cute? Look at all these bits. It's all Disney love. Let's find that wrong. Disney date night be our guest. No, I did not. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. Yeah? Are you excited for the next time we do it? Now you're going to have to go out and buy a load of themed stuff for the next thing we do. Well, honestly, I didn't we actually have to buy we, that much. I think we should do like once a month. Oh. Ooh. There's odd norms. Once a month? Oh my god, honestly. How much time do you think I have? <laughs> tell you a lot. <laughs> if there are any movies with good dinner date idea themes that you would like to suggest, leave them in the comments below. So other ideas, I thought Little Mermaid and we do a fish dinner. And it is Danish, so I don't know if any... Danish? Yeah, it's Han I think it's Hans Christian Andersen originally, isn't it? That did the original... Because all the Disney films are based off of gothic well, I, would, gothic I wasn't novels. going that deep, babe. I was just oh, thinking okay. fish and mermaids and <laughs> Mermaid under fish. the sea, well, isn't it? Why would you say that? Why would you, Crap. Go, why would you go Nemo and then finding Nemo? All right, yeah, same thing. All right, cool. Good chat. So we could do a fish theme one. Chat, next week then. <laughs> um, or, a fish theme dinner. Yeah, or Mulan. Chinese. Chinese. Or you've got Luca, Italian. Italian. Uh, Coco, Mexican. Mexican. You. Ratatouille! Can we make Ratatouille? Oh yeah, French! Yeah, we can French! That's a good idea! Yeah, Ratatouille! We could, yeah? 
We haven't seen Brave. We could do Scottish themed. Genuinely, hag I had haggis once for Burns Night, and it was genuinely really nice. Okay, we can try it. I've or never had it, so. Neeps and tatties. We can do some is. sort of pie, because that's quite Scottish, isn't it? Like a pie. Like a or you could do the things that I suggested, which okay, are actually yeah, really yeah, Scottish. Right, yeah, okay. Frozen themed cupcakes, but we're not doing frozen. Do we have so. to defrost it afterwards? What can we do for frozen? Where's frozen based? Arendelle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we could do. Um, I was Arendelle. We, Arendelle. 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 We, back up to Dale. Dale. <laughs> we could do. Um, it's Norway, isn't it? Princess and the Frog. And do like a Louisiana deep south. Yeah! Like, that's a good thing. one. Because we did that, that's basically Hoop Do, isn't it? But we saw Princess and the Frog recently, so it's got to be a film we actually want to watch. Because I do actually want to watch the movie, otherwise it'd be pointless doing all this. We are going to watch it. <laughs> do you want animation, Beauty and the Beast, or do you want live action? How is that even a question? Live action. Yeah. We're doing our next bit of baking. I'm, I'm French onion soup. Oh, right, well, I'm baking. Girl. Got this really amazing bowl from Shop Disney. A few months ago. Hang on, is we've that, just got to focus is on that it. Toad and Toad Hall in the car. Yeah. Is that toad. Disney? Yeah. Put ten cupcake cases. Ben, please tell me we're not doing ten, are we? At least. <laughs> right. They always say makes ten. It, it'll it make never six does. Maximum. I agree. Um, wait, I've got rose because you said you wanted rose, like rose. The beast rose. A. <laughs> Don't believe me. Oh as yeah. As I need that. Do you know what? We've I, got, I would, look, we've got just I onions. Just, I just need onions and butter. Um, we've got our record yes. player. I was going to play... One of the Disney songs might be on there. I was going to play my... Guys, we've got a whole Disney... Why don't you get it on then? Well, because there's it. a microwave in the way. Oh, okay. I was going to play it last weekend for the... Um... Why don't we put this on? Play Brendan Urie, Into the Unknown. No. Into the Unknown by Panic. At the disco, <laughs> So look, look, that's turning a little bit more grey, isn't it? What do we think? One more drop, it, maybe? One more drop and it's just going to go absolutely jet black. No, it? don't say that. So I've stirred this for 10 minutes just the onions, 20 minutes with the sugar in it as well, um, keep on stirring it, keep on stirring it every couple of minutes, added the garlic for two minutes near the end and now I'm going to put the sugar in it, uh, not the sugar, the flour in it, but it's amazing how much it like reduces down isn't it? Yeah, let me get you flour. Don't worry, there's some over here bub. Have you got it? There's some over here look. Oh shut up, they're looking a bit dead, I can't lie. I've had got them. So now we're going to add the white wine. It says 250ml of white wine. So That is 250ml. So what's the best type of bartender? No, don't put too what's much in. What's the best type of bartender? One that does too much. No, a heavy handed bartender. Bench! 250ml. <laughs> I'm waiting for my cupcakes to cool and they're really small. So obviously we're going to eat all six of these because what is that? That's tiny. Sorry. All oh, six. So is that? Well, the, three is, each. Sorry, sorry, is that the same mix that said use ten? Ten. Yes. Ten. That's pathetic, isn't it? Where's... I almost wish I'd done four big ones now because these are look. But also, what? Why? It's like what did the I rock. do wrong? It's like, no, it's like the rock from <laughs> Lion King. We're not doing Lion King theme though. Never mind. Once I put icing on top of them, you'll no, never the, know. The cupcake mix didn't know that, did it? Well, look. I've got my I've got my grey icing now. I think that's good. That's grey now. And I've got these. Sparkles I thought would be cute to put on top too. So I'm gonna do that now. Right, now you add the stock. This is just one that I prepared earlier. Yeah? It looks like Tesco finest because I thought no, it'd be it's easier. Benji, Benji's finest. <laughs> and then I think from memory you just let that simmer? Let that let that reduce. Reduce again. Let it have simmer for 15 to 20 minutes ish. Okay. Sometimes I walk a little faster in the skull hallway just to be next to you. Guess you, guess you don't know it, guess you don't need to say, you don't see and what you miss it. I'll be outside shining away. You get the limo out front. Well,
Benji has been doing this for two hours now, even though the recipe said one. And honestly, we've just it tried it. It wasn't right. It's still not. I have made it better before. But now you've done it. I wish we would have filmed your reaction to that because your eyes just lit up. It was so good. It tastes so good. It's really yummy. I hope so. Well, so you're gonna grate the cheese on top and then put the bread on. So, oh, that bowl, the funny thing is that bowl gets quite hot. Right, the recipe says bread, then cheese. I disagree, yeah, I think cheese, cheese then soaks of bread, then cheese. cheese, thank you. It says to put baguette in it, but everyone knows that tiger bread is the elite bread. Is this mine? Yeah. Thank you. Also, do you want to take some for lunch tomorrow? I don't think it's quite the same in microwave. I don't think I can turn up on a building site and say, sorry, sorry lads, I know you've just done your chicken and your eggs and your protein and that. Why don't I just stick on a French onion soup? If anyone wants some gruyere on their, on their chicken tikka masala? No? It's not quite the same vibe, you know? I will have it tomorrow then. I'm having it tomorrow. I'm home tomorrow. I'm having it tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow night. We're going to have it for dinner. It's not a... Uh date night if i don't have my pajamas on to be comfy in the lounge so i did pick up those new cute ones today from primark so i think i'll try and wear these watch me just drop them all now no oh <laughs> why did you take the whole tray out why don't you just take the because i couldn't trust myself not to drop it over that thing look how cute it looks in the dark <laughs> that's so romantic Look at the lights! Oh, come on, that's real sweet. <laughs> Are they our uh, Walt Disney World glow cubes? I got juice. In wine. Yeah, do you remember when we were at Thank in you. the room at All Star Sports and we got the cocktails? These are the ones from the cocktails. <laughs> Thank you. Um, excuse me, there's Hi. a big problem. Door? No, no, you're not in your pajamas. Where are your pajamas? Sort it out fast, quick, run, run, run. He's done such a good job and he's put so much love and care into the dinner. It's taken him just over two hours, two and a half hours. Bench, this dinner's taken you two and a half hours. Yeah. For some soup. Not just any old soup, French what was onion that? soup. What was that? What the four subs? Also, are I'll they? Say, are I'll they, take are they back, take no, 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 no. If it's just some soup, I'll take it back. No, no, but it's a long time, isn't it, just for soup? Also, are they your Disney pajama shorts? Yeah. Uh -huh. I want a word for word recreation of what you just said after your fifth or sixth. I just said I don't want to boost your ego too much. But this might be the best French onion soup I've ever had. Love it. I'm really glad. I I wasn't sure. I ha, I've been I've been bigging it up quite a lot, like for the last four and a half years. I mean, I know it took you a long time, and I'm grateful for that. But, but it ta it takes like two hours worth of soup, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And I love going out for date nights with you as well, and like having dinners out. But we don't have to get a taxi. We don't have to get a taxi out. Taxi back. No, it's a Sunday night. We're gonna be all cozy. Bonnie can come and cuddle us in a minute. It's really good. Well done. Thanks. It's not this version. I think it's in the original version as this well. This is in the original, yeah, yeah. But like, bear with me here. This has got to be the worst line of any song in a Disney film it, ever. It's just, it's just out of place. It, it doesn't work. Like, Go for just it. Just watch it. I wonder if she's feeling well. I wonder like, if she's feeling well. I want, has anyone ever asked that question in their whole entire life? It doesn't make any sense. No. <laughs> You've got Mickey. Mickey's under here as well. And look, Belle's on my plate. I'm having this big boy over here. <laughs> Look at her looking at you. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Oh, Mrs. Potts. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> you okay there, babe? <laughs> oh boy. I love her last dress, the white with the flowers on it there. Oh, look, she's so pretty. Oh, look. 
we're out on an evening late walk obviously film's finished and i grabbed benji's jacket to put on to zip up i wore yesterday mm -hmm. and benji grabbed what he thought was his north face coat mm. it was not it's fine uh, you can't really tell but it like <laughs> <laughs> it, it like cinches in at the waist so i'm wearing his he's wearing mine we've got pajamas on i've got crocs on <laughs> wow romantic date night <laughs> most of the stuff is in the dishwasher and i've washed up the rest of the stuff we've got loads of bottles on the side there but oh, i think that's a wrap so i can take my phone bonnie's in her bed like a very good girl good girl night night i love you I have dug out three Disney cards with some Beauty and the Beast trivia to end the night to see how much you watch the film to see how knowledgeable you are. I haven't read them, so we can do one each. Okay, give me one. So pick one. Who wants to marry Belle and make her his little wife? Gaston. Gaston. True. <laughs> True or false? Belle's trusty horse is called Maurice. False. That's her dad. Hey, what's the horse called? Philippe. Philippe. Do you know what his brother's called? No. Philop. You're lying. Philip <laughs> Philop. How many eggs does Gaston eat for his breakfast each morning? Four dozen. Yeah. Five. Five dozen. Five dozen eggs. Ah, oh, damn. Five dozen eggs brew. I thought it was four. I was close. Who helps Belle get ready for her dinner with the beast? The wardrobe. Correct. True or false? Belle's Is that, that what it says? The wardrobe. It says the wardrobe, yeah. <laughs> I thought she had a name. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> true or false? Belle's favourite pastime is reading. She loves it. <laughs> so is it true or false? True, it's true. It's true. She, she, she really loves it. What's the name of Mrs. Potts' son? Is it Chippy? <laughs> Chop? <laughs> or oh, Chip? It's Dale. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually that's what it's like. Chippy, Chop or Chip? <laughs> that's what it actually says. It's Chip and. <laughs> Go on then, last one. How does the beast see what is going on in the world outside his castle? The magic book. No. The he, mirror. He twitches the window. He, he twitches the curtains. He's like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. out. It's the magic book. No, magic mirror. Oh, both en do the same thing. Mirror. Okay, well, I said mirror as well. So. True or false, Cogsworth is the candelabra and Lumiere is the pendulum clock. No, Lumiere is the candle and Cogsworth is the clock. Correct. What does the beast rescue Belle from? in the forest outside his castle. Wolves! Wrong, it's actually... It's actually the world around her. <laughs> that is wolves! <laughs> it's wolves! three! You could have given me three as well! Wolves, bears or wild boars. Well, on that note... It's actually flop. Flop's, <laughs> flop's turned nasty. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Slider. Bye!